Sooner Nation, welcome back to the Sooner Surge softball edition as we have a game preview for game two of the three-game set with OU versus Kansas. And before we get started this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Be a part of what's going on with the Sooner Surge. Also, check out the Fan Stop. They just donated over $3,000 to the Toby Keith Foundation uh, for the Red Solo Cup shirt. You can check that out. And you can join the Shirt of the Month Club. Use code SURGE. You'll get 10% off your first three months. And game two... Uh, OU versus Kansas, I would expect uh, to Kansas to throw their ace uh, tonight with a Brooks. And the question will be, does OU go Kirsten Deal or Nicole May? I think that's the question of the day. I'm sticking with Nicole May. Uh, she got the game two last week. Kind of expect it to be the same uh, for this weekend. Yeah, it's a week, a day earlier than your normal game, too, because Thursday, Friday, Saturday series because of Easter weekend. And, yeah, you mentioned that Katie Brooks should be getting the start for Kansas, you would think. The ace has not allowed a home run, as we uh, talked about a couple nights ago, Jay, me and you, that she has not allowed a home run yet going against the Oklahoma lineup that hit three bombs in the first game. Yeah, uh, and what I would say to that is, Okay, because I think OU is just like some of the greats of all time in certain sports where any minuscule little bit of motivation that they need, they'll use to their advantage. And Patty Gasso, I promise you tonight, said, hey, she hasn't allowed a long ball all year. Ladies, she hasn't allowed one all year. Guess what that means? The ball is going to be flying in Lawrence, and OU is going to be Pounding it out of the park, I think, tomorrow, guys. I do agree Nicole May gets a start. I think they're going to go lefty, righty, lefty uh, in this series with Maxwell, May, and then Deal. Uh, I, I don't think two straight lefties, uh, that, 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 in my opinion, I think they'll switch it up to give them a different view so it's not two days in a row with the lefty. I I think Deal gets a start tonight, and I'm, I'm just going to stick with that. I think Deal... Uh, will go tonight, and I think May will pitch game three. Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So we'll see. I, I do think we talked about this in the kind of the series pre <clears throat> preview, Hunter, about Kansas and how their leading hitters batting like 317. Uh, they're not a team that, in my opinion, is going to put up a lot of runs. So if OU, again, can jump out early like they've been doing and whoever's on the mound, give them a little bit of a, a cushion – it's going to be mean very good things for Oklahoma, I think. And nothing tells me that OU isn't going to continue this streak. Now, yes, they are facing a really good pitcher, uh, most likely in Brooks. But I think, like Jeremy said, the extra motivation of nobody's hit a home run. I think the way OU swing in the bats. And you got now, you got some consistency with hot hitters. When you talk about Tiari Jennings, she's been red hot, not just for a game or two. It's been a stretch. Same with Alina Torres seven games stretch okay uh burrito's been pretty hot in the same stretch i mean what what's crazy is you look at the players and you said well they're not as hot well that's because tra jennings and alina Torres are are putting on a show right now offensively so uh it, it's tough to keep up with what they're doing but even sydney sanders back on track with the home run last night so uh we'll see yeah tra jennings is third on the team batting average at 430 leads the team in ops 13 bombs, 11 doubles. Uh, it's impressive. She's probably going to pass Lauren Chamberlain on the home run list. You would have to imagine. Uh, Tiara Jennings is just uh, consistent as can be. Uh, 1,400 OPS is just unbelievable. That's uh, video game type numbers. And, and yeah, for Kansas, uh, Campbell Bagshaw breaks up the no-hitter in game one for Kelly Maxwell with the bomb. She's now up to 321 on the year. Uh, with that home run. And Katie Brooks, again, kind of got to talk about it a little more, has not allowed home runs this year. None. Uh, we've all touched on that. Uh, has allowed 10 extra base hits, nine doubles, and a triple. I, I think Oklahoma might break that home run uh, stretch for Brooks, but I don't think they do it with multiple. I think, uh, I think one – Maybe two, so I guess that's multiple. But I, I don't see another three-run home run game tonight for the Sooners. Sorry, I was muted. Sorry. A couple of things. 
One is I, I do think that OU's ability to uh, hit to all places on the field uh, plays to their advantage against someone like Brooks. Brooks is going to have to keep it down. And he, even at that point, OU's got someone who can uh, hit, hit, hit the ball out of the park when it's not over the plate. That's something else to keep an eye on. Another thing, you mentioned Jennings. It does seem like Jennings is going to be the first one to the 20 home run club for the year. I mean, she's going to get there very quickly. We talked about that preseason, how many can get to the 20 home run club. Jennings looks like she would be first. Uh, but the last thing I'll say is this is the type of game uh, today that you want to see for the Sooners. I, I think all Sooner fans are wanting to see them against an elite pitcher. Now, some might argue and say, well, Brooks maybe is an elite, but if you look at the numbers, you have to disagree. She is. She, she's really, really good. It'll be a good test. If the Sooners can uh, mount a lot of runs here uh, against Brooks, I think it speaks volumes uh, for the second half of the season as they get to the Texas series, as they get to some of the uh, big-time opponents they're going to see in the Women's College World Series. So as Sooner fans, uh, I think Sooner fans are embracing this opportunity to say, okay, let's see what we can do with this type of pitcher. Yeah. Well, uh, go ahead. Uh, Katie Brooks, 189 ERA, uh, 53 strikeouts and 74 innings for her. Uh, surprisingly for how well she's been at uh, prohibiting runs, no home runs, a 246 opponent batting average. That's a little high uh, for her pitchers. So, Will Oklahoma be able to, like, get runners into scoring position and capitalize and put runs on the board? Because uh, Thursday night, game one, they really only did it by the long ball. Uh, they had five runs in the first two innings after that. Uh, only won the remaining five innings of the game. No other extra base hits outside of those home runs. Yeah, and in game one, I thought Kelly Maxwell, with, with the strike zone she was given, uh, pitched really well because uh, kind of getting squeezed a little bit. And, and hey, one thing that, that I, I think is funny is you hear people say that, well, OU, when they play Texas, we'll see. We'll see how OU is. Guys, in the meantime, Texas lose. They lost to Houston. They lost to Oklahoma State last night. Uh, OU just keeps winning, okay? And, I mean, they, they – Sweat Baylor. Now you're against Kansas. I think this will be a good test. I really do. I think tonight's game will be a good test for Oklahoma, and we'll see how they perform. Guys, who would you say stand out of the game for Oklahoma tonight? I, I, I'll go first. I think it's going to be Alina Torres. I think she continues a uh, hot streak, and she's been uh, one of the great ones recently, and I think she's going to continue that. In fact, I'm going to say she gets the first uh, home run off of Brooks this season. I'm going to R.A. Jennings again. Uh, 24 extra base hits on the season. Seems like the last uh, week, really last two, three weeks, she's getting an extra base hit every night. Uh, I think T.R. Jennings does it again. And I'm going to say – a different one than both of you, Alyssa Brito. Here's my reasoning. She's been hitting the ball pretty well, but here's the thing. This type of motivation, this type of going against a pitcher with no home runs is right up Alyssa Brito's alley. She has that type of attitude that, like, I'm going to be the first one to hit a home run off this, this pitcher. And, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. Inning number one, Alyssa Brito hits a bomb off Brooks. Mark it down. Uh, today, tonight, it's going to happen. I think Alyssa Brito, I think she'll have a great game. Yeah, there's a reason that Alyssa Brito is second on the team in home runs. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, right. It's, it kind of goes unnoticed because how well Tiara has been playing over 1,400 OPS and then just the stretch that Torres and Sanders have been on. Uh, one last question uh, before we get off here. Did the Sooners, one, get a run rule, a uh, five-inning run rule, and two, if not, or even if they do, do we see any pitchers out of the bullpen? I, I think I think this game is about like game one, in my opinion. I think it's going to be about six to one, maybe the same score. I think it's going to be very similar, maybe seven. I mean, I, I don't think it'll be – I don't think they'll get to run rule. I think it'll just be 
And I think both these pitchers probably go most of the game, the starters. That's what I would say. Yeah, and I'm going to say I think some depends. I, I need to look at the weather forecast but uh, of, of what it's going to be there in Lawrence. But I, I think we very well could see Carly Keeney. Uh, and I'm going to say that because – I've already said why. I think OU's using this as motivation. I think the ball's going to be flying out of the park, and I think they're going to put a run rule on, and Keeney's going to come in in the fourth or fifth. I, that's just what I foresee. Uh, I'm going to go with 5 1 1. Uh, Meg get five innings, Keeney one, Monticelli seven. Nice. There you have it, guys. Game two preview OU versus Kansas. Top 25 matchup there in Lawrence, Kansas. Uh, will OU. Get the victory tonight. We will find out, and we will also be live right after with the instant reaction video. You want to check that out after the game. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Be a part of the Sooner Surge. Appreciate you watching the video. Till next time, Boomer.